The population of the United States in 1947 was 144,126,071, today it has increased to 334,233,854. So, while the population of America is continuously increasing, on the contrary, there are some cities in America which are losing their population every year. Many of these shrinking cities are former industrial powerhouses that have lost their footing amid the decline of America's manufacturing power. When a city loses population due to migration, property taxes in that city tend to rise. This is because there are then fewer residents paying to maintain an infrastructure that was designed to support more people. So in today's video we will be show you 10 cities which are continuously losing their population. But before starting the video, I want to request you, we put our best efforts to create our every single video, so please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the, let's start. Number 10, Birmingham, Alabama. The city was founded in 1871 and was once one of the primary industrial centers of the United States Southern region. Today, while its industries have changed, with it the city is also slowly becoming deserted. Birmingham has a 2023 population of 192,557. At one time, Birmingham's population was at 360,000 residents in the 1960s. So now they are little less than 200,000. Birmingham is currently declining at a rate of 1.28% annually and its population has decreased by 3.79% since the most recent census. Birmingham experienced a population decrease of around 7.7% 7 .7 since 2017. Birmingham has continued to see a steady population decline since 1960. The city is also relatively landlocked, meaning annexation is unlikely unless one of its surrounding cities unexpectedly decides to become unincorporated. Number 9, Santa Ana, California. Look at this figure, significant growth was recorded between the censuses taken in 1950s and 1960s, with the population growth over 120% to reach just over 100,000. In 1980, the population had more than doubled. In 2000, the city had more than 300,000 residents. The census changes noted between 2000 and 2010 showed a loss of 4% of the population, the first and only time the population has dropped since the census of 1880. The current population of this city is around 308,549. Santa Ana is currently declining at a rate of 0.14% annually and its population has decreased by 0.43% since the most recent census, which recorded a population of 309,888 in 2020. Number 8, Detroit, Michigan. In its heyday about 55 years ago, Detroit was home to automaker giant General Motors. The city swelled to almost 2 million residents, the fifth largest in America. Today, General Motors and Detroit are bankrupt. The population plummeted to 621,193 with the highest unemployment rate more than 16%. Looking back, the exodus and downfall of the city began in the 1960s when a building boom pushed people into the suburbs. Detroit is currently declining at a rate of 0.9% annually and its population has decreased by 2.66% since the most recent census, which recorded a population of 638,176 in 2020. In Detroit, the population decreased 7.8% 7 since 2017. You can see in the graph, Detroit continuously losing their population. Number 7, Hialeah, Florida. Hialeah had an 8.1% decline in residents from last five years. Hialeah is a city located in Miami-Dade County, Florida. Hialeah has a 2023 population of 217,201. Hialeah is currently declining at a rate of 0.75% annually and its population has decreased by 2.23% since the most recent census, which recorded a population of 222,153 in 2020. In 1925, Hialeah had a population of 1,500 and currently has a population of 239,942 people. The city grew 397.1% from 1940 to 1950 where the population grew from 3,958 to 19,676. In the following decade, 
the population grew 240.4% to 66,972 and then surpassed the 100,000 mark at 102,452 in 1970. But nowadays Hialeah is decreasing their population from last five years. Number 6. San Francisco, California San Francisco's city and county population shrank just over 7% from July 2020 to July 2022, according to new U.S. Census Bureau data. The office changes have collided with a series of intertwined problems that have been festering in San Francisco for years, including high housing costs, street homelessness, rampant property crime, the fentanyl crisis and a precipitous drop in public transit ridership since the pandemic. San Francisco has a 2023 population of 715,717, San Francisco is currently declining at a rate of 6.3% annually and its population has decreased by 17.74% since the most recent census, which recorded a population of 870,014 in 2020. Number 5. El Monte, California. El Monte is a city in Los Angeles County, California. The population dropped by approximately 9.3% in El Monte over the past five years. Most recently, the city's population is 102,529, with a near-equal gender distribution between men and women. El Monte is currently declining at a rate of 2.07% annually and its population has decreased by 6.08% since the most recent census, which recorded a population of 109,166 in 2020. There is one most important fact that you need to know, Los Angeles County has the state's highest poverty rate, with more than a quarter of residents living in poverty. That amounts to more than 2.5 million people. Living in El Monte offers residents a dense suburban feel and most residents rent their homes, due to which the population is never the same here. Number 4, Aurora, Illinois. Aurora faced a population decrease of nearly 10% over five years. Recently publicized and certified counts show Aurora decreasing in population by more than 17,000 individuals, or 10%, over the past decade. Aurora has a 2023 population of 177,108. Aurora is currently declining at a rate of 0.6% annually and its population has decreased by 1.8 since the most recent census, which recorded a population of 180,355 in 2020. Aurora City is not too big, Aurora has lost more population than households. In other words, population decline is due in part to fewer people living in the typical household. Number 3, East Los Angeles, California. East Los Angeles is an average area. Safety isn't really good and having underfunded public schools in it hinders the possibility of East Los Angeles flourishing. The community in East Los Angeles consists of many Chicanos as meaning that diversity isn't really big. East LA reported a population reduction of roughly 10% in the last five years. East Los Angeles has a 2023 population of 118,964. Population change is determined by four factors. Births, deaths, international immigration, and interstate migration. COVID led to a sobering death toll. It also led to increases in people moving out of state, while travel restrictions hindered international immigration. And birth rates continued to decline. Number 2, Jackson, Mississippi. Jackson saw a decline of approximately 12.7% in its populace from 2017 to 2022. Most recently housing 145,995 residents, the city has a predominant female majority at 53.46%. Jackson's population now stands at 145,995. The drop of 3,766 from 2021 to 2022 make it the fastest shrinking city with at least 50,000 residents in the United States. Jackson, however, continues to see challenge after challenge in recent years that included having one of the highest murder rates per capita in the nation. Just last year the city experienced a water crisis that gained national attention as Jackson residents were without drinking water and water pressure for more than a month. This is some reasons behind the Jackson population decline. Number 1. Paradise, Nevada. 
Paradise experienced a significant population drop of about 22% over the past five years, resulting in a 2022 population of 183,321. Many cities in Nevada, Arizona, and Texas topped the list for the highest population growth between 2017 and 2022, but Paradise bucks that trend. The latest population count was 183,321, down from 235,123 residents in 2017. This rate of decline is almost double that of second-place Jackson, Mississippi. Overall, Paradise has very high crime rates. As of 2018, the area's total crime rate was 72% higher than the national average. Even worse, violent crime was 111% higher than the national average roughly double what others see. Property crime was also very high at 65% above the national average. So I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.